We have a high school that is 78.8 acres and we are the last operating farm in the city of Chicago. We're a magnet public high school. We draw students from all over the city of Chicago and every year we have well over 3,000 applicants for about 180 spots. It's kind of like everyone is here, you know, you're going to see kids from different social classes, kids from different races, and even if they're not like you, it's still, you still find that connection with other people. Everybody treats each other like a family, uh, especially like as a class, like our junior class is like one big happy family, honestly. Students come typically with no background in, in agriculture. What they don't usually realize is that they're going to get uh, a rigorous STEM curriculum, and they're also going to get a rigorous career technical education experience. The way that our curriculum is set up here, it is already, you know, set up so they can, they can be prepared for college. Um, even if they want to take certain electives, etc., it all meets up at the end where they'll be prepared to actually graduate and use their diploma to go to any institution that they want to students can actually come in if they choose to be proactive, but the students do not have to come talk to us. We go and find them, we talk to them, and we let them know, hey, you're on track for this, you need this, and hey, this is the deadline where we need you to get this done. With the agricultural curriculum, the first two years more of an introductory and exploratory course sequence, and then by the time the students are juniors and seniors, they're in their selected pathway that will be geared towards their interests for the time here. We have six pathways here. We have agricultural mechanics and construction. We have agricultural finance and economics, horticulture and landscape design, food science, animal science, and biotechnology. Any internships, any, any summer camps they attend are all geared toward their pathway. So uh, they're, they're pretty well immersed in that pathway for their final two years here. And we wanna make sure they make a good choice. We spend so much time, whether a kid can pick A, B, or C, or D on a test. We all know that's not something you're going to have to do. You're going to have to be able to perform. You're going to have to be able to problem solve. You're going to have to be able to work with other people. Our pathways are what make us unique and what gets students interested. Because when they hear you're in a barn, or you're in a food science lab working with chemistry, or you're dissecting plants or working with flowers, like that gets people going, like it's like a hands-on class. Yeah, hands-on learning is a really important part of it. Um, it's just much more tangible to the students when they get to get, literally get their hands dirty. It made it possible for me to dream big with horses and actually want to get into it. At the beginning I just wanted to be a vet or I wanted to work with animals and now it's more defined what I really want to do in life. We're at Navy Pier in downtown Chicago, and we're at the Flower and Garden Show. Our school has participated in the Flower and Garden Show for over 15 years. We have a booth where we sell various products, and we also have our actual garden, where our ag mechanics and horticulture classes combine together and build these beautiful structures. You earn a lot of sense of responsibility, time management, and it's just a great experience for students to gain. the opportunities that they have, the project-based learning, learning by doing, networking, having the job shadowing, all of this is very, very important. There are very few high schools in the city that would have those types of experience. One of the big factors in, in our success is our business advisory board. We have uh, uh, local businesses, post-secondary institutions, public agencies, uh, public officials who support our school by supporting our students. We're involved in internships. We're involved in, you know, introducing other institutions. So students really have a sense early in their high school career as to sort of what careers they might be interested in. This school basically helps make sure that your future is successful. Two-thirds of our students don't go into ag after high school, and that's fine. But they're still well-served from that curriculum of STEM, rigor, 
and CTE, whatever field they go into. We know that our students when they leave here are well served by their experience here.